guys. I am coming at you with a Moho Monday. Uh, let me go ahead and share over to the VIP group. Uh, I am on the main page. Um, so let's go ahead and flip over. If you are here, if you are live, let me know. Say hello. Um, we have a really fun project today to work on. Um, I picked this surface up. Okay. Um, it's a wooden frame with kind of like a plexiglass window surface. Right? And I am going to work on this today. So let's go ahead and see if I can find us. Sometimes Facebook takes a second or two, so if you're here, let me know. Uh, okay. All right. So I am a little bit early. And Facebook does not want to cooperate, um, which is fine, okay? Um, so again, let me know that you're here. I will come back through and I will check all the comments. Uh, Facebook might pop up at some point and let us know. Um, if not, that's okay too. So let me just check to make sure nothing's going on with my phone, which I don't think it is. I think it's Facebook. Yeah, so I see you guys on my phone. So feel free to leave me a comment and let me know. <clears throat> what I'm going to be doing today is kind of like a throwback. Uh, I am working with this transfer, um, which is from, it's called We Did It Together. It's a C-size transfer. But the technique I'm working on today, you can do with any transfer. Okay. So I have a couple of things out. I have some squeegees and some stir sticks over here somewhere. <clears throat> way over here in this pile I have some shimmer gold paste okay you can use whatever colors you have on hand um I was going to use white but then I decided to use dune because I don't use it enough and it kind of is like an antique white um it is our like light brown I guess it's dune's a really good color for it um but I'm gonna use it so what I did was I had got a paintbrush and I just watered down like this top layer. So I dipped it in my in my bath, and then I just kind of added some water to this paste. Okay, because I want it to be, I don't want to water it down on my board because you'll be able to tell, but I don't want it dry either. Because I'm going to paint the background of this with it. Um, I also have my blow dryer. And then over here, I don't know if you can see it, but I have a water bath, uh, my scrappy, scrappy painted, um, Oh, I can't think today, guys. Oh, my goodness. Fuzz mat and a couple of towels. Okay? Jeez. So I always have that off to the side. I also have a board eraser in here because I love the way that it works. Okay? So I'm going to take this dune, and I have a paintbrush. Remember, it's just a little wet, and I'm going to just put it right in my dune. Okay? And then I'm just going to simply give it brush strokes and paint it right on. Uh, now, a few things here. You can go ahead and use paint if you want, if you're looking for a more permanent surface. Uh, I am using paste, so if I ever wanted to go back and change the color or change the design, I could. Okay. The other thing to keep in mind when you're doing the background painting, whether you're doing it on canvas or on acrylic or glass, um, what you want to do is you want to make sure you're doing nice long brush strokes. Okay, and the reason you're doing that is because you can see your brush strokes. It's all about that technique. And if you leave little brush strokes, you will be able to um, see it. So you really don't want to do that. You want nice long ones that are ending at the edges to give you that look that you're like, going for. Okay. All right, guys. You can do a couple different layers on this. Um, I am not using white, okay, so I don't know if we need to add a few more layers. I did go over it a couple different times. Okay. The other thing to keep in mind is that my surface is framed, okay, and I'm putting this right back in my water bath because it's paste, okay, so I'm allowed to do that. If you're using paint, you might want a separate water bath. Don't put your transfers in the paint bath. Okay, uh, now back to what I was saying, a few different things. My surface has like an edge to it so I'm gonna flip this around if you are doing this on a surface that does not have an edge uh, make sure you blow dry it first 
okay? Mine is not gonna be affected because again, it's not gonna touch the back. It's raised. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so we don't need to blow dry, which is great for lives. I have three pieces to this transfer um, because I cut it apart. It did come in one transfer, but I am going to uh, do all three at once because I'm using one color. So excuse me for just a second while I lay this out. Now this transfer does have a border around it. So if you want to line up that border to make sure that your transfer is lined up, you can absolutely do that. It's just a little secret trick. Uh, my surface is too big for that. So I am just going to eyeball it as best I can and hope that it comes out. because it had, and I'll have to find those because I don't have them right now, but it has a piece that's an accent piece that goes in here. Um, I also have my Club Couture Go Confidently one from February. Uh, that one's recent and that has a lot of cute accent pieces too, like a lot of those arrows. So I am going to put this up and then I'm gonna use the arrows in between. two rows of them but I'm gonna need to paste them in between so I will do those in just a second okay so let's go ahead and let's swap pastes let me sit back down so you can see my face again um, I am NOT going to do the border I am only going to do the words uh, it is on there it is good remember we painted painted paste paint pasted the back um, and now I'm going to use Shimmer Gold for the front. This is a project that you could easily do multiple colors in. Um, and if you wanted to do a black, you wouldn't even have to paint the other side of it. Um, if you're doing any color but black, or if you really want it to stand out and for people to read it across the room, um, I do suggest painting the background. It just adds another layer, okay, so it looks cool, um, and it, it makes it easier to read. And we are just going to move this just like butter all the way across. You see that I started with my squeegee my regular squeegee, and then I switched over to my small squeegee. If you guys watch over in the VIP group at all, you know that I prefer the small squeegee, just because I feel like I have more control over it. Uh, Chocotora offers all sorts of kinds of squeegees. Um, so some people prefer the four inch squeegee. Um, some people like the angled squeegee. We got really something for everyone. Make sure that all of your edges are covered. And then you go back through and you scrape up any excess so I can see the design all the way through it. I make sure that there's no drips, okay? And I'm still kind of working really fast because I don't want my paste that I applied first to dry. If you are a slower crafter, go ahead and leave the thick paste that first layer of thick paste right on there and then come back through at the end and clean up all of it at the end. The heavier the paste is applied to the silk screen, the longer it's gonna take to dry. Okay, it looks like we're going good here, guys. Okay, now it's time for pull and reveal. Okay, so I'm gonna take these off. I'm not gonna pull diagonally because I don't wanna pull my transfer. 
but I'm going to pull both corners and kind of in the middle. Okay, when I pull this off, I'm going to put it right into my bath, which is full of warm water. Dry off my fingers. Okay. So let me go ahead and slide this over for one second. Let's reveal this. This is not done yet. Um, but here it is. Okay. I am going to add some arrows in between there, but I want to show you guys how to clean these so I can make some space over here. Let's go ahead. I have my warm water. I have my transfers in here. And I have my dry erase board. A board eraser, dry erase board. Ah, my board eraser in here. Okay, and I just scrub the front. I take a peek at the back. Sometimes you get some dust or some transfers on, or some paste on the back. And then I put it right over here. Sticky side up onto my extra fuzz mat and I just dry it off with my towel. I am going to do the same thing with this one. I'm going to just add it right in here. Okay, and it is okay to leave those in there for just a minute. Uh, we have both of them soaking in here. And we're going to set that off to the side because I want to work a little bit more. I want to add those arrows. Okay, so what we're going to do here And I am actually going to also go back, maybe not. At first it looked like this gold in the middle was very, very light, but as it's drying, it's kind of um, becoming more vibrant. So I'm just going to dry that on real quick. Remember that our back is dry, or is wet, I guess, um, so that way you're not touching it, right? Because we just painted that. That has not dried yet. because we painted that it really shows up a lot more okay. and I definitely put my hand in this back so I am going to fix that real quick before that dries in there I'm just gonna whoop, and fill in this little area right here that I just put my hand in drove me crazy so now let's flip it back over let's not put your hands back in it okay and then let's add these arrows again these arrows are from our club couture uh, transfer from February but we have so many great accent pieces guys really use whatever my concentration uh, whatever you have on hand or whatever calls to you what fits your design uh, or your theme at your house I think I'm just gonna go two okay so I'm putting one two three arrows on and I'm going to dry it and then I'm gonna put them over here too and I'm just gonna stick right with that gold and I didn't do it on purpose, but since I'm doing it, I'm going to tell you guys. I did not put this transfer down all the way. Um, I have, even though my words are dry down here, I'm not letting the transfer touch them. 
Uh, my initial thought on that was I don't want my paste to peel back up because we just dried it. But now that I'm actually pasting across here, I'm doing it um, and it's keeping me above my letters where I want that design to be. Uh, and it's not allowing me to slip into that um, silk screen because it has five lines of arrows and I'm only using the three. Okay. You can also use washi tape or placement tape. I know we sell placement tape uh, that is very similar to a washi tape except for it has your measurements on it. Nope, I think I just made that up, guys. I'm not sure if it has measurements on it or not. Now I'm going to have to look that up. Um, but it is made for... Okay. Mm. I am... It is made just for things like this, so you can actually, like, paste on the tape. <clears throat> Um, one of these arrows is really long. I don't know if I like it. So you can paste on the tape and then you just peel the tape right back up, just like washi. It's, it's reusable. Uh, you can peel it right back up and then that way your design is clean on the bottom. Or you can even put it on your transfer. Okay. And we are going to do this. Stick that right in there with those ones. And voila, guys. Okay, so we ended up making that B size transfer fit all the way. Uh, it is washable, it is reusable. Uh, I think it's absolutely stunning. Um, again, you can go more contrasting on the colors. You can do a black or a white background with a black or even vice versa, um, or a darker color if you want. I really love our shimmer colors on that. Uh, so we are going to just let that sit and let that um, dry. And then, oh, this is even cool because you can even add, I was thinking about this earlier. Um, you can add like wooden beads or flowers or anything like that around the edges and kind of doll this up a little bit more. But I love it. I think it's super farmhouse chic and um, I hope you enjoyed this project. Thanks for tuning in guys. Have a great mo Moho Monday and a good afternoon.